What's going on guys, Aaron from Top Tier Gaming here and today I am coming at you with the long awaited best deck tier list post Photon Hypernova. I recently did the hand trap and the side deck tier list video as well and a lot of people were asking me when the best deck tier list was getting updated and that is going to be today. It's definitely something that I like to do at the start of every big shift in the meta whether it's a new set or a new ban list. And Photon Hypernova brings a lot of changes and it's very close, right? Like a lot of us are having our pre-release this weekend and then in a week or so the cards will actually be released and it, Cash Tira changes a lot in the meta and of course a bunch of old decks are not really even old but a bunch of other decks are also getting support for Photon Hypernova and it really does shift a lot of things in the meta, thank goodness, because a lot of us are really tired of this sort of post-Mavens tier limit format. Of course, we had Amazing Defenders, which shaked up some things a little bit slightly, but not really on the meta end of the spectrum yet. But before we get into this, I do want to let you guys know, Discord link down below, along with all of our other social media links. Also, I just hit 13,000 subscribers, so we actually need a new goal. So now I'm trying to hit 14,000 subscribers. So if you do enjoy this Yu-Gi-Oh content and you like what you see here, feel free to subscribe. It really helps me out and what I do here on the channel. And without further ado, let's talk about this tier list. So we're going to start, I got to turn my chair actually, we're going to start with what I've tiered it. And I've tiered it tier 0, tier 1, tier 2, rogue, not this format and needs support. Whether or not I'll actually put a deck in tier 0, I I'll come and you guys will find out when I'm actually discussing the decks and whether I think one's tier 0 or not. Um, but of course, a lot of these are standard, and yeah, most of these are actually standard. And I'll explain them more if I put a deck in there, I guess. Uh, and yeah, so decks that aren't super meta relevant and haven't been meta relevant for a while, I'm going to spend only a little bit of time on so I can actually talk more about the like decks that are very relevant right now. So like we take a look at the first one, ABC. And for example, you know, I think it's a cool deck, but not this format. It, ABC Therion hasn't really been a deck since our Nationals format. It's just a little power crept right now. And this tier is... Why, why did it do that? This tier is more for decks that are strong decks, but can't compete with how powerful the format has been essentially since Power of the Elements, and more specifically Mavens, right? So these are decks that can be good if we get a ban list that really weakens the other decks. Uh, so yeah. Uh, Phantom Knight, I'm also going to say not this format. The Ashizu Shufflers just really, really hurt it. Uh, Burning Abyss, again, honestly, for Burning Abyss, I'm going to say needs support. They need more than one Beatrice. I do not understand why they don't have more than one Beatrice yet, because one Beatrice is enough for every other deck. And so for every other deck, it might as well be at one or banned. But for Burning Abyss, they actually would like multiple copies, and I don't think we should really be afraid of that. Pendulum? I'm gonna put in strong rogue. I think the deck has proven itself to be at least a rogue contender doing well at some events, especially early on post Darkwing Blast, and I still think they're okay. Um, the thing is, they they're definitely have some struggles, but they really don't care about their graveyard too much. I mean, they do, they don't like getting shiftered per se, but they don't care about the shufflers that much, and they often have lines that don't really care about what the opponent's doing too much, and they have a decent amount of options, but they are weak to a lot of the very popular board breakers going to the next format. However, I do think that this deck is a little bit stronger than these currently, so I'll, I'm willing to put Pendulum and Rogue. Now, Plunder Patrol just got support in Photon Hypernova. I know this is a deck people are very hyped for, uh, just because they finally got their new ship, the Earth Ship. I think his name is Yord. He's really awesome. I really like Yord, and I am really excited to see what this deck can do. Um, I think I'll put it in tier two. It's really like the the line between tier two and rogue feels very hard to sort of determine where that line is because unless you're a tier one deck, and this is how it's been for the last three months essentially, if you're not tier zero or tier one, you're almost just rogue or unplayable. So yeah, that this is sort of weird, but I do think Plunder Patrol will be maybe even better than Rogue, potentially. I think it might be a little better than the decks I'm going to put here, so I'm willing to say it's Tier 2. But I do want to preface that this line is sort of blurred, I think. However, with the new support that Plunder Patrol gets, I, I'm super excited to see what it can do, because Moerk has always been nice into Tier Limits, and I've been seeing a lot of people test with the deck and seeing decent success with it, so... I'm excited for the new Plunder Patrol card, and I'm going to put it in Tier 2. Now, Stun, just like Border Stun, I think previously this was like, you know, Tier Limit was so strong, we might as well just play Border Stun. Essentially, that was where we were at. Now, I feel with Cash Tier coming into, like, existence, I'm going to put not this format, because, I mean, Inspector Border, you just summon Fenrir, and what is Border going to do, right? Like, he Border himself actually got a lot weaker because of Cash Tira. I'm going to put in not this format. 
Crystal Beast, funnily enough, I'm going to put in Need Support. I know it just got another Structure Deck, or not another Structure Deck, it got its Structure Deck, and it was cool when Tier Limits were the only deck in the meta you could just play 15 Floodgates for Tier Limits. With more decks coming into the format, I think Crystal Beast can't run enough Floodgates for every matchup, and therefore, if it wants to be a deck on its own and be at the level of these decks, right, like these are good decks but just can't play right now, Crystal Beast still needs support, unfortunately. Cyber Dragon uh needs support i mean like it, it just needs something because ever since verite's got banned this deck ceases to exist and really hasn't been that great for a long time heroes i, I still want to put heroes in rogue and i think this deck is so good still because of dark law but also even into cash tira i know that it's not going to like playing into those boards and it doesn't have like dark law is not a win just instantly match up for them like it is against tier However, they still can just like blow people out going second. They can run like a lot of go second cards and board breakers. They have ways to extend. And then like DPE is actually still a really strong card against Cash Tira. Uh, like while Dark Law is really good against tier limits, Cash Tira will find itself, I guess, struggling more for DPE, right? Because like if they start Unicorn and then they search Papayas or something or whatever it's called now, uh, and they activate it and DPE pops or Unicorn, they could be in a really tough spot because they went through Unicorn effect, they don't get their extender. I can see it being okay, and of course it has other cards on the field as well. I'm still willing to put this deck in Rogue. Uh, DDD, not this format. Essentially, there's going to be a lot of decks that go here because of the Bistials, I think. Um, and Bistials just shutting down so many different decks. And I think Bistials shut down these really, really hard. So, in a format without the Bistials, DDD is a little bit better. Uh, Branded. Branded past... Wow, this is going to be... This is going to be interesting. Branded Pass Photon Hypernova support is definitely good, but Cyber Strike Access, I think, also gives it an even bigger boost. But after Photon Hypernova, I'm still willing to say Tier 2. Ah, is it? It's, it's really one of those 1.5 where I'm going to put it above Plunder. It's really skirting that line between Tier 2 and Tier 1. I think New Branded is super good. My issue with it is it just can't run enough Go Second cards right now. And really, that's the problem with the deck overall. Maybe not even right now. It just struggles playing a lot of Go Second cards. But it is really powerful. I do think it's still weak to the Bistial a little bit. And while it's good, I'm going to put it in Tier 2. I just don't think, especially in this format, it's going to be meta relevant enough to call Tier 1, even though it is going to be stronger with an upgrade. I think we really need to see a ban list and Cyber Strike access for me to put Branded back in Tier 1. Uh, Dynamorphia, not this format. It, it just, it really struggles versus Tier Limits. It's not super good right now. If we can find ourselves back in Nationals format, I do think Dynamorphia is an insanely powerful trap deck once again. Uh, Dinosaur, not this format. Um... Uh, I'm gonna put it next to Dynamorphia. Like, you could say need support because it might want more miscellaneous source, but when Dinosaur plays, it's still insane. So, yeah, I'm just gonna put not this format, even though, like, it's a strong deck, just everything else is so much better right now. Dragon Maid, I'm putting need support. Like, without Tier Limit being the specific best deck 100% of the time, or I mean, it's still probably the best deck, but it's not the only deck anymore, it feels like. It's really hard to justify, like, nine bestial dragon made anymore which i would have put in like maybe the roguish category just because it's running so many bestials but now i'm gonna put in need support because if can we get chambers dragon like where is chambers dragon that's all i'm gonna say about dragon made uh dragoon turbo stuff not this format there are formats where like guru control is like okay uh and you can just like floodgate with it and dragoon can be okay uh elblitch not this format the bestials kind of hurt and the Elblitch engine is also just super slow. There's a better trap deck now, in my opinion. And Elblitch really suffers because of it. So he either he either needs support, like a new Elblitch monster, or the Bistials need to go away for Elblitch to come back, in my opinion. Flanderies, I'm going to put in Tier 1. This deck doesn't get any support. However, I feel like this deck can play just fine into what are presumed to be the best decks. Like this... Flounderese just has good matchups across the board because it's not weak to much of anything. I mean, it's weak to, like, cards, right? Like, Zombie World it's weak to, uh, and cards like that. Obviously, it has counters. But compared to, like, what the other meta decks are doing and what you have to prepare for, it's like you need a whole different set of cards for Flounderese. And that always puts it in such a good position, right? And it can play into Cash Tier, kind of. It can play into Tier. Statue destroys a lot of decks. The only deck that can kind of play around it really easily is Cash Tier if they open Unicorn. And they can like play with the unicorn i don't know it's like it's so because of statue this deck's so toxic and it, it can play into so much i'm gonna put fluanderies in tier one 
Exosister, not this format. Exosister is a very format dependent deck. Around Power of the Elements and Darkwing Blast, I think it was good because its engine countered one of the best decks being Tier Lament. But when Tier Lament get, got Mavens, they got so much support that even though there is an engine that directly counters them, it's irrelevant because that's how powerful Tier Lament became. They became, they became so powerful they have no counters. And that's kind of what Exosister feels like to me. It needs a format where there's a graveyard reliant deck or a very slow format for it to shine with either its engine or the fact that it's like one card starter with flex spots, right? So I'm gonna put Exosister in not this format, even though tier limits are very powerful. They're just too powerful unless we get a ban list that really hurts them. Drytron, not this format. Uh, the Bistials destroyed this deck. If in a format without Bistials, Drytron is still completely competent. Um, I won't put it in need support either. I don't think this deck needs Ava to be good, but the Bistials actually destroyed it. Altergeist? I don't know. Maybe Altergeist needs support. Without Mystic Mine, it feels like there's no reason to play them, which thank goodness, Mystic Mine is, you know, we don't have to even consider that. I used to have decks on this tier list that were just conduits for Mystic Mine. We no longer need that, so I'm gonna say Altergeist needs su support. They either need, I think my Altergeist friend says they need Link Cross back, or they need something else to do with Pukiri? I, I don't remember exactly what he said. Either. I think that he said they need Link Cross, and that would help them a lot. Um, so I'm gonna put Need Support. Kashtira. Here's a new deck, so this is one people definitely want to hear about. Um, yeah, Kashtira is obviously Tier 1. I don't think there's much to say here. Uh, whether it's gonna share Tier 1 with Tier Limits, I do think Kashtira is better than Flanderese. Whether it's gonna share Tier 1 with Tier Limits, or I'm gonna put Tier Limits in Tier 0, we'll get to that when I get to the Tier Limits, but I do think Kashtira is insane. Obviously, the deck is getting bonkers support in Photon Hypernova, as most of us know. It can do so much, and if Statue is not banned, they have, like, two different routes they can take, right? Like, they can go for standard, like, OCG Cash Tira, which is what I see a lot of players doing, is just kind of sticking to what's known. But they can also do Arsenal Falcon for uh, Wind Barrier Statue and be really disgusting that way. They can play through a lot of hand traps. They just set up a nasty board. Honestly, a pretty crazy deck. And then going second, obviously, you have a bunch of Cash Tira monsters, so that's not bad at all either. This deck is no surprise in tier one category. I do think it's gonna be one of the best decks in the format. I think honestly, there's a big four that I'll get to once I sort of rank all the decks, but yep, that's where I'm putting Kesh Tira. Gren Maju sort of ghost second stuff turbo. Um, honestly, I'm tempted to put it in Rogue because <laughs> their Kesh Tira banishes your whole deck and then this card can really benefit off of that. Uh, but Arise Heart really, I'm just gonna put not this format. I feel like this deck needs something. Maybe it is worth putting in Rogue because of what it can do, but I think it needs a slower format to more easily push into boards constantly and just win. So I'm gonna do that. Harpies need support. This is enough said there. I, I'm a Harpies player, so I really want support. So Konami, come on. More Harpy support, please. Earth Machine, not this format. I love this deck, one of my personal favorites of all time. Uh, it's a very good mid-rangey, you know, draw some cards, get some hand traps if you're running that virgin, or, or just pure hard floodgate traps. It can do a lot, and I really enjoy this deck, but it needs a slower format. Rescue Ace, I did not do a post Amazing Defenders tier list because I didn't think it shifted the format that much, but now we can re rate Rescue Ace, Rescue Ace for the first time. Whoops. Um... I'm actually gonna put this in need support. Some people are a little hyped about the deck and they're like, oh, Turbulent sets four, that's great. But the cards Turbulent set aren't amazing. There's so many better trap decks that do it just a thousand times better. Now, I haven't looked in the deck like myself. Like I haven't built it, played it. I've just seen what it can do and what other people are doing with it. And personally, to me, I think Rescue Ace needs better spells and traps uh, before I can consider it worth it to go for Turbulence. Um, so yeah, post Photon Hypernova, it's not getting that. So unless unless I, there's a card I just don't know about. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna say need support. Now, Adagnister, I'm gonna put in not this format. I feel like a lot of decks that follow the same sort of Nationals format, and really the same format we've had since Tri Brigade, which is like one card starters, a bunch of hand traps. It's actually one of my favorite ways to play, even though they can end up being boring if you play the same version too much. They feel so good because I just love getting to run like 18 flex spots that beat the meta, right? And Adagnister is one of those decks where it's like a one card starter that goes into a bunch of flex spots. And I just think this format, these decks are too powerful to warrant that. Like they can still win, they're still okay, but they're not going to beat these top decks consistently. So 
that's where I'm putting that. Alistair, I don't know if I'm putting him in need support or just he, he's as long as there's better fusion decks, which there is in Tier Lament, he's just maybe not this format in that case. As long as there's better fusion decks, he, there's no reason to play Alistair, but I'll just I don't think he needs support, maybe. Eh, eh, not this format. Spellbook, not this format. I feel like we haven't been in a format weak enough for this deck to really shine. I do think the spellbook cards with Sprite could be very nifty. The spellbook cards with Runic could be very cool, but there hasn't been enough time to actually like test it. So I'm gonna say not this format, but I think in a, a regular format, this could actually be some spicy stuff here. Like we just haven't really gotten a chance to play with it. Tri Brigade, Tri Brigade Sprite. I think Tri Brigade Sprite's actually okay. Uh, I don't think it's a terrible deck. The Sprite version specifically, if someone's going to look at this and they're thinking like regular Tri Brigade, that's not the case. This is Tri Brigade Sprite. Um, and yeah, like, I think it's okay. It, it's a deck that's really strong on its own. It does have a sort of a problem with Kash Tira, but it's a deck that can run a lot of flex spots to deal with that matchup as well. So I'm going to say it's in Rogue. Yikes, Prank Kids here. If I could make another tier called Garbage Can and I'd put this in here, it'd be the only deck in that tier. I... Prank Kids format scarred me. I hate plus 11, one card starter, 46 draws every turn that resets this engine because of pranks, and then DPE on top of it. I hated this format. Well, I hated this deck in that format. I actually liked the format, but yeah. Prank Kids here. Infernity needs support, which it is getting eventually, but I don't think it's Photon Hypernova. Eventually, Infernity is getting some kind of support, though. Uh, oops. Uh, let's set that back and labyrinth labyrinth is a big one as well I feel like I messed up where my where my guy was but yeah labyrinth super good deck uh, Just to say I'm gonna put it in tier 2 and I'm gonna put it in the top of tier 2 I think branded and labyrinth are sort of these sleeper picks of the format that are just almost at that like top deck level but are just gonna be like the tier 2 rogue ish strategies and I really think Labyrinth is such a good trap deck, and this is sort of what outshines Eldritch. It's not really weak to the Bistials that much, uh, and its tr its engine is just a lot better than Eldritch as well. It doesn't even have to play a bunch of Floodgates to be good, so yeah, Labyrinth is going to be a really strong contender in the format, something you might want to prepare for a little bit, because it's a deck I would expect at a tournament, maybe not like YCS level or top tables at like a YCS, but it could definitely get tops at regionals for sure. I think it's a really strong strategy post Photon Hypernova, and it's a deck I enjoy a lot. Madolche is an interesting one that I don't want to talk too much about. At the start of Maven's format, I actually won like a case tournament, or did really well at one, and then I won several tournaments after that with Madolche. But the second they put Orange Light to one, which was a little bit after Maven's, uh, like uh, two weeks, three weeks after Maven's, it really hurt this deck in my opinion and what it was going for. So. I don't know if I want to put it in Rogue because I've seen it do well post Mavens with myself and that I think Madolche is Rogue, but I think post Photon Hypernova after Mavens, it's definitely not this format because it doesn't deal with Kash Tira. Madolche was positioned well last format, positioned well, um, because it was just such a hard counter to tier. Hard counter. I feel like I have to use quotes a lot here because it really wasn't any of those, but it its engine lined up into tier okay similar to Exosister because of Glass Souffle. Um, but without orange light and without like a deck it hard counters, it, it definitely is just not this format. Uh, Paleo tier, Paleozoic variants with tier laments. I'm going to say not this format, the Shizu Shufflers killed this deck. However, if the Shufflers get hit on a ban list in some capacity, you best believe I'm going to be trying to play this deck again because I got second place at a regional with Paleo tier. It's a deck I enjoyed a lot, really fun, but the Shufflers kind of screwed it over a little bit. Uh, this video is going to be quite long. I have so many decks I'm ranking. Uh, Math Mech, not this format. This is a bestial reason as well, similar to Drytron or Eldritch, just not this format. Mikanko variants, and more specifically, I'm going to talk about Mikanko Libromancer, or the 60 card variation that the person who made Based has built, and him and one other person, I think. Uh, both of those variants, both like standard 40 card Mikanko Libromancer and that variant, I think are actually really good. I'm going to put them in Rogue. I don't think it's tier 2, I think it definitely has some matchup problems, it definitely isn't a deck that's been perfected yet, but it's a deck that can do a lot, play through a decent amount, and make some really crazy boards. So I really like this deck, I I'm liking it a lot when I play test it, and I have a video on the channel about it if you want to check that out. It's a really nifty deck that can do so many cool things, so I'm going to put it in the rogue category, because I think it's as strong as these. It's very strong, just I think it's a little bit better than a lot of these, because it's not super weak to 
I guess the main parts of the format, but I'm gonna say it's rogue. Ninja, I'm gonna put in not this format. They do get support in Photon Hypernova. I'm 99% sure that's where the rest of the ninja support is, is in this upcoming set. But I feel like we haven't gotten to see this deck outside of a format way too strong for it. Maybe if we slow down back to where our Nationals format was, or even a Tri Brigade format, we can see this deck actually do something and find out what it's actually attempting to do, right? Uh, and then this card specifically, me too. I actually want to see her in like some very low tier Penguin variants. I think that's that could be nifty. Uh, the Naturia deck, ooh, I feel like this actually gets weaker after Photon Hypernova, where it has to deal with Cash Tira. I feel like this deck was designed to handle tier limits in a way, but I feel like it's not as good after Photon Hypernova with Cash Tira. Is it bad? I feel like Naturia Runic can be quite cool. Uh, I don't know if I want to put it in not this format. I don't think it's that great in a Cash Tira unless I'm just missing something. I think Cash Tira really hurts this deck a lot. I think this deck was so tuned to beat um, Tier Lament that Cash Tira entering the fray, I, I'm not sure where I'm going to put this deck. I guess I'll leave it tentatively in Rogue, but I want to make sure people know I'm, I'm really uncertain about this deck. It could be not this format. Pearly, I'm going to say needs support, which it actually does get in Cyber Strike Access. That makes this deck actually pretty good. Now, I have seen Pearly Sprite be like actually pretty competent i've played against it on the db ladder a couple times and it actually can do some really cool things however because i know supports on the horizon i'm not gonna say not this format because i think once it gets the support we know is coming which is why i'm putting it here it'll actually be good so i want people to know i actually have a lot of faith in this deck and i think it could definitely be up here but for now i'm gonna put it in need support Ray, not this format. I, I think the best deals need to go for Ray. Now there are variants I've seen where I'm not even sure the decks are playing multiple copies of Ray, maybe just one. Uh, and they just use linkage as their form to play, but I, I don't think those variants are good either. So not this format. Rika, honestly, Rika's not bad. I'm gonna actually say Rogue. I, I, Rika is always slept on. I don't think a lot of people play it, but it actually has an okay matchup into both Cash Tira and, um, Tier Limits, and also Fluanderese. The field spell is just so insane, and if you can find multiple field spells, you can actually play through a lot of boards without go second cards. But this deck can run those as well. So yeah, I actually think this deck's okay. Um, it's a little weak to cast Tira banishing their extra deck constantly, but I'm actually going to put this in Rogue. I think Rika is still a very strong deck, and it's just slept on and not a lot of people play it. Obviously, I'm not putting it up here or here, so it's not that crazy, but I still think Rika is competent. Ad Emancipator maybe needs support. I don't know. It hasn't been good in so long. Runic sort of stun decks. Uh, I still think the Shufflers have kind of destroyed Runic. I feel like Runic as an engine is okay, but specifically Runic stun, maybe you could put in Rogue. But I feel like as long as the Shufflers exist, this deck is kind of weak as just like a pure deck. Um, now in Sprite, I think Runic Sprite is still competent enough to call Rogue, but I'm just going to say pure Runic stun is not this format. Maybe it's Rogue. I'm kind of tough deciding between that two, so you guys can let me know down in the comments below what you think. Salad needs support. I think if Gazelle comes back to three, this deck's like okay, but Gazelle needs to come to three. And then it can be not this format tier, because I do think there's other better cyber decks still. Um, B Trooper, I'm going to say not this format. I mean... Like, you could say needs support, because if Maxi came back, it gets a little boost, but so does every other deck, so it's kind of a moot point. Um, but this deck has been... I'm going to say needs support. Ever since ever since Verte got banned, this deck doesn't even see play. Shark uh, needs support. Eh, not this format. I think Shark in other formats where it's going for Kraken, goes and match stuff's actually okay enough to almost call Rogue in some formats, but again, one card engine with hand traps just isn't cutting it right now, so I'm going to put this here. Weather Painter, not this format. Definitely a strong deck. Wow, I'm going to need more space, actually, aren't I? Uh, Weather Painter needs a slower format to compete. It can do some really cool floodgate -y stuff. Okay. Huh, let me rephrase that. It can do floodgate -y stuff, not really cool, uh, against a lot of decks in a meta, but right now I feel like it's really off. Sprite, which I can barely see at this point because this tier list is huge. I'm going to have to slim some of these decks down eventually. I'm going to put Sprite in tier 1. Maybe it's like the top of tier two, you could say, but I do think Sprite is still pretty good post Photon Hypernova. It's what I'm, is part of what I'm considering like the top four decks. There's so many different variants. I think like the pure version and what we have going now is what I'm going to be calling 
uh, tier 1. But there's also like Gishki Sprite, which is actually going to be rated later. And then there's Runic Sprite that I would call more tier 2 or Rogue. But I think Sprite is still really good. What is this, Sword Soul? I, I just can't see at this point. Sword Soul, I'm going to say is Rogue. I think Sword Soul's still been a strong Rogue. It's been decent enough throughout even this whole Mavens format where you can see it do okay at the regional level, definitely strong at the local level still. It, it hasn't been terrible even with Mavens, I don't think. And it can run a lot of flex spot. It's, it's just a solid engine with good cards with it, right? So Tier Limit. Now this is a big one. Am I going to put it in Tier 0? Am I going to put it in Tier 1? Personally, I'm going to put it in Tier 1. I do think with Kashtira around, this deck now has a somewhat competitor. And with these four decks, I don't think Tier Limit is going to be taking the 60-70% of the tournament structure to call it a Tier 0 deck right now. And if a, like, if a Banlish doesn't come out for a long time right after post Photon Hypernova, then of course Tier Limit is still going to be a little more powerful than everything else. And by a little bit, I mean probably still a lot more powerful than everything else. But very soon after a balance, we can see this definitely coming down more to these levels as well. Uh, I think it's more tier one. I don't really think there's a deck in tier zero. So now that I've said that, I think deleting this tier will actually help us <laughs> see more decks. So yeah, everything sl slid up a little bit here. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to say there's no tier zero and I'm going to put tier limit in tier one. Dragon Link. I'm going to put it in Rogue. I don't think it's Tier 2. I feel like Bestial Dragons was really good into Tier Limit specifically because of the Bestials. But now with Bestials, in my opinion, getting a little weaker because it's not only Tier Limit anymore and you're going to have a lot of bad matchups for the Bestials, I, I think Dragon Link actually goes down a tier with that as well. So I'm going to put it in Rogue. Trap Tricks needs support. Now, very quickly after Photon Hypernova, I mean, like, I almost want to rank Trap Tricks for real because they are getting a structure deck like two weeks after the set drops, but it's not out yet. So right after Photon Hypernova, which is what this tier list is for, I'm going to say need support. But once their structure deck comes out, I would actually put it in either Rogue or Tier 2. I think it's really strong, but Labyrinth is just a tad bit better. So, you know, after the structure deck, I guess Rogue or Tier 2 is where I'd put it. For now, I'm going to say need support because that's when this tier list is made for. Evil Twin, not this format. This is the pure Evil Twin deck, not Evil Twin Sprite. Uh, Bistials, Bistials destroyed this deck. So we need the Bistials gone and a format that is slower for this deck. Marin says sort of the same vein, not this format. It's another one of those one card starter hand trap deck, which this used to be Marin says tier gaming the channel. So it's a favorite of mine. I love the deck, but it really cannot play into all this mumbo jumbo. So I want to say not this format. Agent, same way. Now, Maybe I should put need support because I've seen it do stuff once the new Apple Dragon like tuner comes out. I forgot what it's called, but there's a new tuner being released later where this deck can play it and it can make some crazy boards. So I'm going to put need support, but even past the support, it's probably like rogue at best in a, in a regular format. And then usually just like not this format. Virtual world, not this format. It's an okay deck, but when was the last time you saw anyone playing Virtual World at, like, top tables anywhere? It definitely just can't play in the current format because these decks just don't really care about Shen Shen at all. You need a format where Shen Shen is actually a really good floodgate and where Shen Shen Chuche is a formidable board for this deck to be good, in my opinion. Now, Punk is a very interesting one because I have been playing a lot of Punk. And personally, I think it's at least Rogue. I think when you play Punk with a bunch of other engines like Kashtira, like Bestial, like the Souls package, it's actually a very competent deck. And I think it is pretty good going into next format. Almost to the point where I'd want to call it Tier 2, but I, you know, I've seen myself play it, but I haven't seen enough like people other than myself play it and do super well with it for me to like say Tier 2. So I'm going to put it in the Rogue category. Zombies, not this format. I mean, it's good versus Flunder. And it's like not good versus many other things right now. So I don't think there's enough reason to play zombies. Now, honestly, I'm going to put Generator in Rogue. But I could also just put it in not this format. Generator gets support Photon Hypernova. That makes it a lot better. I've seen what it can do. I'm impressed by it uh, for Generator, right? But like, that's the thing. Like, I'm saying I'm impressed for Generator. I think in a regular format, even though it's much better, it still is weaker than a lot of these decks. Or at least just on par with them. So I'm not going to say it's rogue this format, but I do think this deck did get support and that it's pretty solid. 
Gishki, I'm gonna put in Rogue. I Currently with no ban list, I would say this deck is just not a comparison. It's sort of here with Tri Brigade, right? Like talking about Gishki, it's just another variant of Sprite. And I actually think the Tri Brigade version is better. Like you look at the OCG after their ban list and whatnot, completely different format, sure. But out of the two options they had with Sprite, they chose to play Tri Brigade, not Gishki. And that's because I do think the Tri Brigade version is just a little better than Gishki Sprite even though it's still a solid version. So we'd need a ban list that hurts totally awesome in some way. Otherwise, it's just better to play this variant with the toads, with the frogs, and totally awesome. Uh, but after a ban list that potentially hurts Sprite, these two variants would rise up. And it just depends on how the format would shift there. But after Photon Hypernova, even though it gets support, I'm going to put it in Rogue. So I'm just going to put this back where it was. Dark World is one I never got to rank because I haven't done a tier list since past Dark World's release. I'm pretty sure this wasn't on the last tier list. Um, I'm going to say not this format. I think this deck is actually insane. One of the most disgusting, toxic decks we have had released. I think it's more toxic in a regular format than tier limits because if it plays and you can't stop it, it just wins. It's so actually gross. But I feel like the Bistials and a combination of all these D-Shifter decks, like this is three decks that can play Shifter. Dark World needs some other format to thrive. And that is going to be it for this tier list. Definitely a long video. Let me know down below what you guys thought of it. Am I missing a deck? Feel free to leave that down below. Uh, would you rank these decks any differently? Anything like that you can leave in the comments. I'll be sure to read them. But yeah, this has been the video. Feel free to like and subscribe. This has been Aaron from Top Tier Gaming. Bye YouTube.